Hello everybody and welcome to Nightmares from the Deep, the Cursed Heart. We are the world's greatest, mostly aquatic, hidden object players. I'm Michael. I'm Amanda. And oh man, we are ready to rock your pirate socks off. <laughs> so batten down the scurvy and munch the mackerel because here we go. All right, we are, just to let you know from the outset, going to skip any um, cutscenes that are in this game because there are some and they look terrible. This game is old as hell, people. We had to turn down the resolution, the resolution of our uh, monitor <laughs> just so that this thing could not play in a tiny little window in the corner of the screen. So It's from, now, I think, 2011. 300 years later... No, it's from 300 years ago, they just said. <laughs> okay. This game is old as hell. Alright, 300 years old. 300 years ago in 2011. Uh-huh. Okay, we're the curator of the upcoming exhibition, which is about haunted pirates, we can tell from the big poster. Order the delivery worker to take the crate to the showroom. We have a button for order a guy around. That'll be handy. Click him. Give him the orders. Sure thing, Miss Black. I'll leave the crate at the end of the exhibition hall. All right. Look, we got floating weirdly blue lips whenever we want to talk to somebody. <laughs> so this game is the first hidden object game that I ever played. So we're going back a little bit in your personal history. I'm sure you remember how to solve all these, right? We're just gonna <laughs> oh, that was like eight years ago. <laughs> roar our way through this. <laughs> well, just put yourself back in that piratical mind frame. S oh, that's nice. One. We can verify the posters are exactly the same. <laughs> Now, is, is this us standing here, or are we us? Um, that's a good question. Hi, Mom. We're us. I just want to sneak a quick peek at this legendary pirate, and then I'll stay out of your hair. You can't. He, Come he on. died like 300 years ago. Let's check out the crate that just arrived. Oh, there's a dead guy in that crate? <laughs> I think so. Oh, we're monsters. <laughs> yeah, let's go hide in our office and drink to forget. Okay. Oh, that's the basement. Um, Can we flee from this awkward discussion? I don't think so. I think we're kind of doomed. And I think, yeah, it wants us to go there. We, we'll have How to get... How do we not have our access card if we work here? I don't know. Maybe our daughter has it for some reason. Let's go follow her. I'm All pretty right. sure that's what we're being the cued to do. The plot is unavoidable. Yeah. yeah. We it's gotta not go... an escape room game. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get out of the narrative. We got to go get grossed out by a corpse, I guess. Kiss him with our blue lips. Yeah, you're all set. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. We mind. <laughs> we still want to order you around. Oh, he teleported. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how you make a pirate exhibition. You lean a box up against a wall and you're done. Here, don't trip over the muskets. Thanks the for the $18 admission fee. The crate is shut. Do you think we could pry the lid off? With so many tools lying around, I'm sure you can find a crowbar. Shoot I'll stay here and keep an eye on the crate. Oh, right. I still have the key card to your office. She's like, she does Here have it. And don't worry. This mummified corpse won't be going anywhere without me. What? Why are you saying you might go somewhere with a mummified corpse? <laughs> All of that was weird. Light fingers? Why? Stay out of our purse. Why is she sticking with the corpse? Why did she have our card? Everything about this is weird. Uh, okay. So this is some kind of puzzle, Ooh, sort of? Yeah, you got... You like to play those crane games where you get dolls out. This is just like that, except uh, more blady. Okay. I don't so just think pretend it's like... you're a, a crane hook that you got to lower in. don't really think it's like that at all, but whatever. 100% applicable. No. Do you see how fast you just did it? It's because of crane game practice. That's because it's... Now easy. stab our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pirate made me do it. <laughs> all right. Authentic pirate weapons delivered just in time for the exhibition. We are the curator of this exhibition. Uh -huh. I feel like crowbarring open a crate is not really our job. Maybe we spent all our money on swords. And corpses. Maybe somebody shipped us the crowbar. Did we get a shiny new crowbar? Maybe. <laughs> we got something. What's in here? Uh, I love it when they make you click through each step of something. I demand immersion. To the museum curator. This flintlock pistol is a rare artifact, probably tailor-made for the infamous Captain Henry Remington. We discovered the pistol near Remington's gravesite. Mm -hmm. Though it was buried in sand and tarnished by salt, it seemed to gleam in the water. Strange. The diving team. It's so nice how they write letters together. 
I'm just gonna pick this up with my bare hands like a museum curator would. Oh, I didn't mean to go back, sorry. Um, how do I get, where do I get a crowbar? It's probably in our office. We were given a key card. You think? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Like, every curator's office has a crowbar drawer <laughs> in their desk, right next to their hooch. I <laughs> thought you were going to pistol open the door. <laughs> I should have tried that. That would have been fun. It's like, well, it works. This is how a pirate opens doors. <laughs> we're being authentic. Okay. Uh, all right, look for a drawer that says crowbar in here. Uh, in case of emergency? Well, I mean, we could break that with the crowbar, too, obviously. Okay, uh, that just looks like it's a hose. Yeah, I mean, it's for fires, but... Not every emergency needs a hose. Is that a... That's just a regular radio? Not, like, a CB or anything? It seems to be a regular radio. Nice. It, it just plays the spook channel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the key? Oh. Uh, your new wall safe has been installed and the pirate artifact transferred to it as requested. I wrote down the new safe code and left it on your desk. Bob, the worst security officer ever. Bob, you're shift. fired. <laughs> you are now Bob, security chief of no shift. Uh-huh. Right, four, left nine, got it. All right, some backstory. Backstory, backstory. Wait a minute. His body was never found, but we found his gun right by his gravesite. I mean, we have his body, right? This is like old, outdated stuff. Oh, this is like we're updating this. Yeah. That's why she's got the pencil. <laughs> right. Volume two. Um, what's in here? Oh yeah, move it around. Okay, dear Sarah, according to my research, this small treasure chest belonged to Captain Remington. I was unable to unlock it and I couldn't bear the thought of breaking it open. I should fucking hope so! Even though its contents will be more valuable still. Perhaps you can figure out the secret of its lock? Sincerely, Stan. From the National Museum. Oh, from whatever nation we're in. Yeah. Probably Canada. So, gilded lock requires a unique key. Got it. Um, a crowbar. <laughs> we haven't found our crowbar drawer. What's what behind, is behind the mask is the safe. Oh, that's clever. We need the exact codes. Oh, so. they even just put it here for yeah, you. Yeah, so right to four. Okay. You have to, like, grab and I move guess. it with the... That's weird. Weird controls. All right, left to nine. Bing. And then right to six. Well, <laughs> it's weird. It feels weird to control it and this then way. Left to one. And then right to eight. Like no combination lock ever. Oh damn! An achievement! That's a mini game? I mean all of these things are technically mini games. Technically. But you're just following directions, so yeah, it didn't feel like much of a puzzle. <laughs> Dear Sarah, this necklace was found in the possession of an old Caribbean family. It is said that one of the ancestors had something to do with Captain Remington. <laughs> Therefore, I'm sending this on to you. If you were to find the missing gem, this necklace would surely benefit your exhibit. Thanks, Stan R. of the National Museum. Yeah. Uh, some say this antique necklace is connected to Remington. Too bad it's missing. It's a gem. We that can't, is a bummer. We can't pick it up. Didn't it seem like we just stole some silk and then it just vanished? <laughs> so, is there anything else in here? Uh, turn on our computer. Oh, um, I guess that's just the post-it. Right. So, no crowbar? That's I still think book? that key behind the monitor, probably something. Since oh, it's yeah, glittering. it's glittering. So, it's totally something. So oh, that's the, the key to the um, closet so that we can get a crowbar there. The basement, yeah. Whose picture do we have? Where? Up by the good luck cat. That's going to be our daughter. Hmm. And who's the baby? The, also the daughter, come on! That seems like overkill. Oh, there was one more sparkle, sorry. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh no, this the sparkle is saying, get out of this room. You can leave. <laughs> you're, gone. you're done with everything here. Alright, into the basement, where we'll find the crowbar. Yep. First we flint lock, open the lock. Or use the key, sure. Sorry. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. You gotta turn the key like a human. Uh huh. They can't just assume you know what you're doing. Like a time-wasting video game. <laughs> mm hmm 
the more mouse clicks, the more value you're getting for your money. Okay. I should note, my younger brother bought this for us, actually. He was a fan of our earlier excerpts. Yeah, thank you. There's our crowbar. Yeah, which does not contradict the fact that I played this in 2011. I had a different a copy on a different system uh, that was tablet only, and we can't record those. Also, because that happened in the past. There's no technology for recording the <laughs> past. <laughs> you know what I mean. I still have it. Tickets um, are only five bucks? What a deal. Yeah, seriously. I'd pay five bucks to look at a big pile of swords. <laughs> Is that a boat on the ground anything important? Let's see. Nope. Nope. Artwork from rotating exhibits is often stored down here. Checks oh. out. Okay, fine. Is there... Alright, what about the power room? I mean, it's glittering, so it's gotta be something, right? Uh-huh. Dangerous. Let's stick our hands in it. <laughs> of course. Is this a puzzle? No, oh, I guess every... everything's working, so it's gonna break later and we have to come back? Sure. Or we gotta turn off the power for something? It won't let us. I mean, later. Well, you know, it said there was a storm and the, the phone lines are already down, so I bet the lights are going to go out later and we'll have to remember to come back and put this together. We should look for fuses mm -hmm. at some point, since there aren't any. Okay, maybe there's an exhibit full of fuses. Do you see anything that looks like a crowbar, though? The crowbar you picked up looks exactly like a crowbar. I already did that? I've completely did not even notice that I was doing that because I was talking at the same time. I can't think and talk at the same time. Well, it's a good thing we gave you the mouse. <laughs> it's a great division of labor. <laughs> All right, let's go crowbar something. Let's go free this pirate. Heck yeah. Let's get out of pirate mummy. I like the helpful symbol of a crowbar yeah. on it so that you don't try to open it with a hammer or your fingernails. <laughs> These clothes held up remarkably well. Right? And he was packed really sloppily. It was just a couple yeah, restraining what, belts. What the hell? Like, no Excelsior? Nothing? Alright, so what's the instructions for putting together our mummy pirate? <laughs> According to the attached reproduction, Remington used to wear specific accessories. Mm -hmm. You will not find these in the crate, as they were delivered separately. Right. Outfit Captain Remington in his full regalia before the showing, Professor Holmes. Who is Professor Holmes and why is he telling me what to do? I'm the curator. I'll decide if he gets displayed with his shit on him. I hope you received my other package. Keep it in your office until you figure out how to open it. Don't tell me what to do! <sighs> so annoying. Well, we do have some stuff to put on him already. Let me yeah. give him his sword and his pistol. There you go. That's strange. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Look, I've run a lot of museum ex exhibits, and there's very few instances of crotch electrocution <laughs> when setting up old mummies. Here, this is how we get the belts undone. Mm -hmm. or, or we put it in. The flashes of lightning are really playing a trick on my eyes. What? What? No, they, they would literally be the trick. They're not playing a trick. My hallucinations are really making me see things. <laughs> Alright, let's check his dental work. Has he got any gold fillings that'll fund next year's exhibition? Oh, snap. Yes! Nobody thought to look inside his face for the missing gem? Wow. Seriously, nobody looked in his mouth. That's crazy. That was like my first instinct was let's pry out and look behind his eyes and then check in his mouth. <laughs> well, his eyes are still... His eyes look like they're still there, which is crazy. They're probably glass. Yeah, I guess they must be. Alright, so let's go get his necklace. Stay with the lightning corpse. Daughter. <laughs> this is Sweet totally... child in, of mine. Yeah, in your wheelhouse. Some reckless endangerment. Alright. Bada bing. Oh. That's normal. <laughs> unbelievable. The jewel casing claimed the gem as its own. That is unbelievable. I don't believe it. <laughs> I love that this curator has such a scientific approach to these events. I mean, she's really more of an artist than a scientist. I guess so. Alright, I guess we're gonna um, do this, yeah. even though it clearly seems dangerous. Let's make a necromantic mistake. <laughs> oh, my eyes, the tricks. <laughs> Boy, my imagination is really getting away from me. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, um, and his restraints fell off. Okay. But other than that, kind of anticlimactic. New objective, broken fuses. Yep, sure. called it. Yep. Uh, museum's lost power. Seems the storm has moved inland, just like Captain Remington. Uh, he moved inland? Okay. I guess, technically. Yeah. Is there a fuse in that dangling poster? Is that why it's glittering? No, I think that's just, it's a thing you can click on so it glitters. Just so that you can look at it. They paid for the art asset. You better look at it up close. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, let's check our daughter with her fast fingers and see if she's got pockets full of all of our <laughs> fuses. <laughs> Mom, you know I'm scared of the dark. How old are Could you? Could you check the fuse box? Indeterminate. I mean, she looks like 15 at least. We know where the fuse box is. We just don't know where the fuses are. Uh, this is not going to work. So yep. we're in trouble that way. Oh, we got a crowbar. Yep. It's too dark. Okay, so we need to find a flashlight. Is that in here? Uh, You know, I see an axe. There is a flashlight in there. I feel like there was probably a better way to open this than to break the glass, actually. Like, if you work here, there should be, like, a key that you can just open it with. You don't have to put all of your emergency supplies behind glass? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, grab the axe, too. Yeah, please. I'm, I could probably find a use for the <laughs> and hose, And run a hose too. all the way down into the space. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you can use it as a rope or something. Mm -hmm. we're, I know we're going to need a rope eventually. We always do. I doubt it. This is the one time? Yeah, this is the one game where we won't need a rope. Alright. Oh, first tableau! So instead of looking... Oh, this is how we find the fuse. Yeah. Oh. Wait, we shot a photo? That was one of the things. Oh. We didn't even notice. What? Okay. <laughs> Does the light... Oh, this is clever. You can't actually see the tableau all at once. No. You gotta move your flashlight around. There's the extinguisher on your right. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, and, and a hanger, I guess. Oh, apparently. Got in the way. Two horses. Is that a horse right there on the to the left? Yes, yeah, it that's is. Yeah, most of a horse call. What's, what's this? That's an Egyptian face and profile. Oh, okay. Is that a thing? Uh, it's not on the list. It says crown. I'm going to click on it just in case. No, that doesn't count as a crown. No, the, I guess, Egyptian fancy pharaoh hats aren't called crowns. Cane. Cane's on the list. Yep. Um, this is, I guess, Christmas lights? Uh, yeah, or a, a crown of thorns. Actually, it could be the crown. Maybe it's uh, Jesus y. It's not. <laughs> okay, just checking. <laughs> nice guess, though. Uh, magnifying glass? No. Nope. Do we need a clock? A no. Pen? So, another horse, some batteries, bucket, gloves. Oh, here's a whole other suite of things. Uh, oh, we get to do some Unscrew interaction. Something? Yeah. Oh, pry that in. Are those our fuses? Or no, those are batteries in the back of a walkie-talkie. Yep. Okay. Gloves? Cup, cup, crown, tripod. There's the gloves. Um, tripod. Can you go up? There's some stuff along the top that we haven't seen in the upper right. Like, what is that? A model of an old car? Or an old... Yeah, plane? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, so that's a Victrola, a pen. A bucket a would be glass. like... Oh, this is another thing we can uncover. Cool. Um, cards, book? No, not really. A vase? Oh, there's the tripod. There, there's the other horse. Oh, hooray. Okay, so bucket, crown, and cup. Okay. Is that a cup? That thing that's shaped like a vase? No. No. Oh, and that you falls even further down. Yeah, well. We wow. need a knife. Do we? No, I no. said we don't need a knife. Oh, okay. A we crown. got an axe. Right, right. I mean, That's I a also, bucket. I would also like a knife. There's a cup, right? The mug. Where? Uh, above the brush. Oh, yeah. And then we just need a crown, which really should be the easiest thing, because crowns should uh, stand out. No, because it's a cheap drawing. Oh, stamp. Oh, they always got to be... throw it over on us. <laughs> Some of the greatest in the world. We found a useful item. So we're going to put the... Put them in the thing. 
Damn. So first we put them in the replacement box, and then we gotta... Right, what are we doing? This, I guess. How we do just... you know what order they're going? Because the, their color was there. Oh. Like, this one's yellow, so the yellow one goes here. And... and now, throw the switch! That was not much of a puzzle. Yes! The power has been restored. Yes! Wait, you could look closer at that painting. Um, okay. No, it just gives me that, oh, you know, yeah. that caption. There's a reason why junk is down here. <laughs> oh! Mom, come here quickly! We are coming. You're, you're here, in fact. And you are fired. <laughs> you're so fired. I mean, we had a problem with nepotism even before this happened. What is that? Signet ring. Oh. Huh. Is that how you say that? I don't think I've yeah, ever think heard so. that word said aloud. Yeah, yeah. Ring? <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right so, let's blue lip the daughter. Yeah, let's get ready to hear the best excuse ever for yeah. how um, a corpse got how by you her. lost our mummy. I can't believe my eyes. The, the showpiece just ran away. I don't believe you. you didn't. And he dropped something in the crate in the wood shavings. Yeah, we got that already. Mm hmm why didn't you trip him? He couldn't have been moving fast. With his glass eyes, he couldn't have seen very well in the dark. Anyway, let's open this box. No, that's the thing saying oh, you're just done saying here. You can leave. Yeah. Well, didn't she kind of indicate it went off to the right? Can we go to the right after him? Uh, like, are we pursuing I think him? if you go, if he went from the right from there, he'd go to our left. Right. I mean, click back into the area that he fled from. Right. Can, is there any other exit? other than going back out of this area. No. So not even where the restroom is indicated and the running man is kind of showing us no, nope. you can't go back there. Nope. So he actually got past our useless daughter. Yes. Completely Just past her. Just stumbled his way out. Right. Despite and being dead. She having the benefit of being alive. Do <laughs> you think that the pirate's hanging out in our office checking our email? Well... Here's the thing. There's only two other locations available That's to true. us right we now. That's true. We were in the basement. We would have noticed if a pirate went to the basement. Uh, still not here, though. Um, okay, our email is safe. And our security code that's just sitting out is also oh, safe. Oh, the Trixie box is open. The treasure box? Oh, no, nope, that was... still here. This is the, that was just the he box doesn't know containing where it is. the Trixie box. Oh, but... But the signet ring will open it. Maybe it's got a pirate detector inside. <laughs> Just boop, 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 when we're getting warmer. Uh, well, it's got a single coin in it. We lost a mummy, but at least we made one doubloon in profit back. Oh, oh, there he is. Was there someone behind me? Maybe you should look behind you, dummy. Oh, my God. Could... Narrator, please stop talking. <laughs> how it's... terrifying! Our daughter! She knows how to work stairs! Well, I would have my doubts at this point since she couldn't even stop a mummy from getting past her. Alright, let's find out why we're supposed to be shocked. Mom! You'll serve my purpose, maiden. Sail forth my ship to Skull Island. Uh-huh. We, we didn't have the money for your ship. So, okay. <laughs> Alright, this looks expensive. <laughs> Your one doubloon is not going to cut it with <laughs> reconstruction costs. We are ruined. <laughs> Alright, so then... New objective, rescue my daughter. I'm sure that'll be easy and won't take any time at all. Why doesn't she just elbow him and just come down? You she know? couldn't even trip him when he got past her. We're asking too much of her, clearly. Is this game so old that plucky heroines hadn't been invented yet? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, let's at least make, like, a muscle and do some damage to his blow ships. All right, a crack in the ship planks. If I can find a way to reach it, I can sneak on board and save my daughter. Hey, uh, use your feet. Maybe use oh, this. Oh, wow. Just <laughs> lean the ladder up? Okay. <laughs> We have solved your puzzle. Yeah, is there anything else? Yeah, the entire exhibit, mm -hmm, not to mention mm -hmm. the museum, is destroyed. Do we still have the crowbar in our hands? Yep. All right. Oh, no, no we don't. Axe. We have the axe. So that's how we're going to bust our way onto the ship. <laughs> we can still walk around to our office if yeah. we want. <laughs> Could you just wait, Mr. Pirate? I forgot my voicemail. 
this is going to be another thing where we're going to use this axe and then throw it over our shoulders. Like, mm -hmm. we're never going to need that again. I'm sure. And then I will be mad because I always hate that. Yep. yep, there it's gone. We're idiots. Just chuck the axe back over your shoulder, clattering on the floor. Oh, we get a nice view, though, of the boat receding. <laughs> If it wasn't so kind of fuzzy and low res, this would be really cool. Yeah, I mean, the the videos are so blocky and terrible, but, I mean, it's a cool idea. The the ship bursting through the museum, I remember, was... I can't see anything. Where am I? On a, on a pirate ship? <laughs> Who is this idiot we're playing? I know! It's a genuine haunted ship! <laughs> yeah! I have to find my daughter. She must be so scared. If I had any comprehension of what I was doing, I would also be scared. But I just don't understand enough to know the peril I'm in. It'll be three days before it catches up to me how dangerous any of this is. <laughs> and how crazy and improbable it is. Another woman on board? That's double the bad luck. But welcome anyway. Oh, sure. Pirates this are always nice like that. This ship belongs to Captain Remington, the most fearsome pirate there is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're his crew. Well, what's left of it? Mm -hmm. Now that the captain's returned from the deep, we've set sail for the old hideout on Skull Island. I think you mentioned that. Here's a map of the ship. Thanks. For free. Don't want bad luck getting lost on the ship. Uh huh. Why would they map out their ship? <laughs> <laughs> a map. Now I'll always know where I am. You are overestimating your own capabilities vastly from what we can tell so Let's far. Let's also steal his room. Yeah. So, you fancy me bottle of shiny fluid? I can't give everything away for free. S shiny fluid? Yeah, all pirates drink shiny fluid. We wrote the exhibition notes. You should remember. <laughs> you trying to buy it off him with one doubloon? Yeah. Okay. He said he wouldn't give it to me for free, so I also was like... Also, ask him what he wants for it. So, you him. fancy me no, bottle of no. shiny fluid? No, he's not going to tell I us. can't give everything away for free. What a coy little creep. <laughs> Do you want a starfish for it? Um, why, why did we take that? Throw it at his face. <laughs> okay. Starfish him good. They got mouths on the bottom of them. No. Eat his face like an alien. Nope, it didn't work. That was my best plan. The iron bar is nailed to the hatch. I've got to cut through it. I mean, oh. you can just cut through the hatch. That would probably be easier to get a tool for. Or fire that cannon? Is that a cannon pointed at it? I don't think so. I don't know what that is. Well, maybe it is. So, you no, fancy no, bottle of we don't. shiny fluid. We got, we're over it. I can't give everything away for free. Give us everything else you have for free other than the map. <laughs> All right, the algae is going. I've never seen such a plant. Sure. Well, yeah, that's I guess not we're your, just gonna leave. That's not your area of expertise, lady. That's the problem. Hey, you know how to make art exhibits with piles of swords and dead people. <laughs> yeah, stay in your lane. <laughs> that was easy. All right, so join us in the room we came in and we're out the door and oh, the yeah. hole that I made with the axe and we just swim for sure. Yeah, well, you can't be that far, right? Mom! How fast can a ghost pirate ship move? Okay, uh, that complicates things. Help me! What? Why do you tie your hands? Why bother? It's magic. I mean, we're technically at sea, so there's no point in keeping anybody locked up anymore. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, let's grab this arm. <laughs> Just picking up. Stick it in our pocket. Yeah, picking up skeleton arms. Like hey, you you've do. got my daughter, but I've got some dead guy's arm, so we're almost even. Oh, the uh, starfish are for this. Oh. To open this lock. So you gotta keep your eyes open for starfish. Yeah, there's a... That should allow us to cut through that iron bar. Yep. Anything else that we can get at here? No. And... And some keys will get us through there. Alright. Alright, guardian octopus. Oh, you can sway the lamp for <laughs> clicking on Gears on it. What's uh? There was a shadow that just passed in that hole in the top. Oh, you That's can get cool. a close-up here. And a wine opener. Okay, we need to... Scrape something off. Yeah, corkscrew. Um, so we're going to need a special tool for that, even though you should technically be able to use a hacksaw for that, but no. 
Hmm. I need something else. Uh, I think that's all we can do here, yeah. so let's go hacksaw that trapdoor. We don't want your shiny food. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> don't ever speak to us again. Shut up, shiny fluid Jones. <laughs> that's what we're calling you. All right. The infirmary. Here we go. Mm. What's in the bucket full of slop? <laughs> uh, a little alligator. Construct a useful item. Oh, there's little pieces of things hidden like around. Little metal things yeah. in there. Um, there's like a hammerhead next to the. There you go. So we're still looking for a screw and a handle. Well, two handly bits. Um, is this a skirt? Yes. Sure. Uh, wait. Those are nice shells. There. Boom! Built our own handle. Let's go beat that skeleton to death for a shiny <laughs> fluid. Lots of items here. Maybe I'll find something useful later. Fair enough. Can we take the ore, at least? That no. seems like it would be immediately useful. Ooh. Chemicals. Perhaps the skeleton pirate is holding the missing bottle. Oh, the shiny fluid. Oh, boy. Comes back here. Chemicals. Chemicals. <laughs> I just need a bottle of any chemicals. <laughs> for reasons. Okay, we get to go into another room. Is there anything else in here? I think we're through here. Alright, let's go get some water. Oh, my. Oh. What's uh, down there? A uh, bear trap. Okay. Let's uh, stick the bone arm in there. Sure. A sacrifice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the ghost that owns that bony arm could feel it? Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, is that our last starfish on the barrel? It's a starfish. We need three, and that's Ooh, only the second one. And let's use one. the corkscrew to open this up and get some water. Can we find out what that knocking is No, first? I don't care. <laughs> okay. They can wait. We're All trying right. to save our daughter, and that involves using any tool at our disposal on stuff. Huh. I'm pretty sure that'd work. Can you use the hammer? Just hammer it off. Oh, it's a tap. That's why. It's not a cork. It's a tap. Uh, are we supposed to replace it with uh, actual... All right. I'm pretty sure that either of those two tools would work. They should, but they won't. We will, we <laughs> will rock you. These boards are cracked and susceptible to... Is this where the... Not, they're not that susceptible to impact or whatever's in here would break out. Hammer it. Well, bam That octopus was knocking? Sure, they're very clever. They're clever, but are they that strong? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, this caption says, this octopus learned how to operate the skull's teeth. You know, like teeth work. <laughs> With <laughs> the moving up and down in a fixed jaw. So many things to unpack there. <laughs> Maybe if I play along and repeat its moves, it will let me take the cursed doubloon. Can we grab its uh, bell? Oh, that just makes it repeat the move. What? Oh, okay. Oh. That was like a celebratory flourish, not something we had to recreate. <laughs> I was going to say. This game sucks, octopus. <laughs> well, I mean, it's only an octopus. I don't see what it gets out of it. You know most of your brains are in your arms? <laughs> Alright, I guess we charmed the octopus. Can we steal the octopus's wallet? There was like some... Yeah, there was some other stuff in there I would like to take, please. I guess we're done. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we need a tap to get into that. Mm -hmm. um, the barrels are damaged and they've lost most of their water. That's a, That sucks. Blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna die of thirst while we're here is what yep. I'm hearing. Uh, I guess we're gonna come check out the galley. Ooh, how old is this soup gonna be? <laughs> Let's find out. Maybe it can talk. Oh, no, there's empty. Oh, we're supposed to get water, rum, limes, and spices to go in here. Mm. That actually sounds better than saving our daughter. 
Yeah. I'm now yeah. on on the grog quest. <laughs> Okay. Fire died out. We're gonna need some more coal. Okay, fair enough. Fair sure. enough. Sure. Look, if that's what it takes to get grog, we're doing it. We're all in. These old provisions rotted hundreds of years ago. Now they stink of mold. Oh. Well, let's not do that. Maybe until we've checked out the tableau. All right. Let's. Let's see. Oh, so not everything rotted over the hundreds of years, or some of it's been replenished. Yeah, there's some fresh stuff here. There's like a fresh cabbage down here. Seriously, and that lobster is still alive. Wait, <laughs> are lobsters technically immortal? Do I remember reading that somewhere? They do live for like a hundred years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. All right, so we there should be three dried meats. Are those what those dangly things are? Or is that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, those are dried meats. They don't really look like meat to me, but okay. All right, a broken knife. Oh, you can see that over by the cutlery picture. Uh, a frying pan. That's probably against the back wall there. Fish bones. Yeah, right up there. To the right. Oh. Uh, canteen. Canteen. Is that what this is? Uh, that is I would have called that a hot water bottle, but okay. Okay. A uh. recipe. Yeah, recipe in the book. A grater. Uh, is that the thing hanging where the meat was? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so the crane is hidden behind something. Or it's is on, on fan. the fan. Herbs. Probably the dried thing with the flower. Um, Dangling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ladle. Maybe the lobster is nicknamed Ladle. Oh, there you go. A bone. I did see the bone. Oh, it's by the bottle of wine. Behind it. And the coal that we need. Is this coal? Oh! I would have guessed those were potatoes. I would have thought so too, actually. Alright, so let's chuck that in. We can be that much closer to getting grog and forgetting about our daughter. Set this whole place on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Down into the hold. Yeah, okay. There's nothing else. I thought that was a sparkle for a second, but that's oh, just like a... It's like water dripping. Yeah, water dripping animation. Alright, down into the hold. Um, huh. More stuff. Ooh. Um, Scattered items block the door, but I can use the crates to arrange them. I just have to put each back where it belongs. This should clear a path to the next cabin. This seems bananas to me. Uh, this is more like something that we'd be doing in the museum, not Yeah, if we planned here. on keeping every last one of these things. Right. And who uh, knows, maybe we are. Maybe that's why it's all going... I think you were right, under the cross. Okay, and here... This is some very insulting pattern matching stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That one actually even set, has a boot on it. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a box of boots, and then it's a box of gold in the upper left, and then wow. swords go in the upper right, and then anchors, nautical stuff, goes in the lower right. Wow, I did not notice that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what makes us the greatest aquatic hidden object game players in the world, is picking up on hints like that. That we're such a great team. <laughs> like how long it takes you to respond to that. No, I was just sorry. I noticed that the compass was lighting up and I was distracted. I guess that's to tell us that we could skip if we wanted to. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. A mace, a sickle. I mean, isn't that where you go? That's yep. where you go. That's where you go. Gold. Sword goes in here? I would have thought. Yeah, because you put the scepter in the wrong spot. The scepter is gold. I mean, How do you get the scepter back out? Oh. Um. There. I didn't know I, it would let me put things in the wrong spot. No Apparently wonder it, it took a while. Yeah. Um, That's probably a weapon. Okay, weapon box is done. More shoes. Yep. And a boot. More shoes. Oh. Nope. Oh, you grabbed the but. box. That looks nautical to me. No. Nope. I guess it could be gold. It's gold. Alright. Boot. 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 
nautical <laughs> gold oh that's gold oh yeah i guess it is it's kind of shiny yep um what's and the last thing i think it's in the net yeah I see it glittering there oh i don't even know what that is is that a sextant is that what those are uh no you know what a sextant looks like I think it's, uh, isn't it like an astrolabe? Mm. One of those uh, metal things that are kind of vaguely triangular for staring at how high the sun is above the horizon. So like a sundial? Not exactly. Smithy, you filthy drunkard! Stop stealing my stuff! I chained my cupboard shut! You would have to be an alchemist to melt my iron rope! You just call those chains. <laughs> Who's laughing now? I invented it! I wrote this note so long ago. No one ever made a chain before. I call it the metal rope. <laughs> have to be an alchemist. <laughs> Centuries old meat and vegetables. Yeah, yeah probably. Guess. That's probably the smell. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, we can just go through to that other room. That's yeah, we open the path to the other room. <laughs> you could swing that barrel back and forth. <laughs> it's so want. goofy that they put gears on it like that's something you could do. It is something you could do. It's not something useful you can do no. like gears would usually connote ah is this mouthy bitch gonna <laughs> ask us about his liquid too nope he doesn't seem to have any or he already drank it yes let's steal his leg uh i think we're gonna yeah. uncork his leg awesome. figure that out what's in your hollow leg uh-huh uh-huh what what is that we have to get, I guess, tweezers to pull it out. It's a key, though. It's going to be oh, a key like yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. It looks one. like another dancing person key. Yeah. That's where I'd keep it. <laughs> In somebody's leg. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Well, he doesn't have a wallet, obviously. So cannons, cannonballs, tableau. Tableau! Ooh, an electric eel. Do you see where the padlock is I need to open with this key? Uh, not yet. Here it is. Ah. There we go. All right, so you open the padlock. We also have to load a rifle. Holy crap, that's like a multi-step procedure back in the time of this ship. Don't we have to put in, like, gunpowder and then gun... Ball, uh, oh, yeah. Is that a, a gunpowder horn? Yep, uh, and then grab the musket just to the left under the conquistador hat. It's gotta I know be it's loaded. not loaded, but... Loaded rifle, that's what, that's what we have to load. I know, but we just grabbed the... No, we've got a... Do we need the shot in there as well? I thought the powder goes first. I guess not. I need, I'm pretty sure you need the powder underneath the bullet because it's the propellant? You would think, but it also... Oh, all we had to do was put in a... I guess the powder... Oh, by picking be... up the powder, they assumed you dumped it in there without showing you where it was? Okay. Who knows? Well, let's grab the electric eel with our bare hands. Well, it's not. Um... Like... Are How are we supposed to safely grab it? With gloves, I imagine. Where do you see gloves? I... I don't. Huh. What about with that trident? Yeah. It's spirit. Um, oh, I guess we just needed the trident. <laughs> Sorry. See, it also says there's a sickle and a war scythe. Wow, that's exciting. Oh, no, here's gloves. Oh, cool. War scythe. I guess that's this. No, I guess not. Uh, no, it's maybe to the left. Just a little right there. That's the Oh, this is a crossbow. That's what that is. Right. It's curvy looking, so I thought maybe this blade was a scythe, but cool. it's a crossbow. Hey, that squid is drawn on there. Oh, cheap. Uh, you spotted an ore at some point? Right there. Yep. All right, so helmet. Probably the conquistador helmet. Is a war scythe that long stick that's up against the wall? No, uh, just one stick to the left, that thing. Oh. Oh, so the that's... other one, the smaller one, was a sickle. Okay. Right. Anyway, we found a chisel, so let's chisel this guy's leg off and take it with us. You know that's not going to work. I'm not coming back here for it. You are. Cause... So we, that leg's leaving with us. Oh, we're going to haul around a cannonball, just like tuck it under our arm and carry it with us how for the rest of this journey. How big are our journey. pockets? I love how many things you just So, you through. haven't been captured yet. Are you the same I guy can from tell before? it won't be long before Captain Remington takes care of you once and for all. Oh, he rolls his You'll horse. follow in the footsteps of your daughter. Uh, Just wait until we get she... to Skull Island, to our fortress. 
I bet Remington's plans have something to do with that other woman, hey, the man, Countess, who appeared among us <laughs> centuries ago. Now scram your bad luck charm. Me wooden limb is itching, like there's something in it that I can't reach. Thanks for the hint. Are you, are you Spanish or Scottish or... <laughs> Irish. From the ocean? Jamaican. Because <laughs> you're Jamaican me crazy. Ha ha ha. A little... A little Caribbean joke for you, pirate of the... <laughs> Alright, we're done here, I think. So what do we have in our inventory that we can like circle back with? We don't we... have enough doubloons, we don't have enough... Oh, we got the chisel, which means we can get the last starfish we need. Yep. Okay. We're gonna have Man, to it's back... a long trek back. Yeah, we're gonna have to backtrack quite a bit to get to there. Um, wait, was it... Up. It was through here. Yep, it was here and then up. Oh. Uh, are we scared of our daughter? <laughs> I guess. Hey, what's up? I guess we're gonna talk to her. Yeah. Mom, you have to help me. Do, the pirate we... is heading for some forgotten Caribbean island. Skull Island, they said. Where? Right. Grr. Way to fix your ship. <laughs> really take care of stuff. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I like that she thinks she has to tell her mom that you have to help me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we could still talk through this board, just so you know, pirate. I'm just kidding. My daughter forgets that I'm alive like a goldfish if I'm out of sight. <laughs> Never really got that object permanence with her. Which is why she allowed a pirate to disappear in the dark. You owe me a lot of money! Okay, love you! <laughs> mm. I'm gonna hold her liable for yeah, the entire... Yeah, for all the damage. For letting that pirate get out. Okay. Alright, let's slap up some starfish. Like you do. And let's regret the color shape thing that's yeah. showing up here. Here's the thing. This is one of the few times when the crazy locks sort of thematically make sense. Mm. Because pirates. Pirates yeah. do weird things to protect their stuff, right? Would they? Wouldn't they? I don't know. Oh, so I can't make a match this way, so I've got to do it a different way. Like this? But these stars have repeating colors, so... Like... I think? Or is that purple and they're, blue? They're different. The p patterns are different, so you have to find a pattern that works for all three. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be this one. It's not going to be that one either. It's going to be red somehow, maybe? Maybe it's red and green? There's... Oh no. Green. Shouldn't you just find out like what the red is in the upper right before and just let that determine? Because there's only one red. Yeah, but it, it won't it won't fit with this one, so... Yeah, well. What? Yeah, put it back. Swing your blue around. Oh, you're right. It's because I'm one of the greatest in the world. I know starfish. Aquatic theme? Nailed it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's sparkling over here. Oh. oh. There's a parrot somewhere. In this birdcage, I would imagine. Ooh, it's undead. Nice. You want to escape, parrot? Holy crap, we are going to let it out. Yeah, get out of here. An undead parrot. I'm going to assume he hasn't eaten in centuries. That's okay. Oh, it seems like I'll have to bribe the parrot if I want the key. He's what, got the last key. What do you eat, dead parrot? Dead crackers. Cracker brains. <laughs> oh boy, there's a, bi a diary to read. You wanna, you wanna read this? Since I gained my new powers, everything is so easy. My crew and I are feared and famous. Our wealth is growing and fortune smiles upon us. We've each adopted a random accent. <laughs> I want to make it last, so I've hidden the cursed coins. My treasure is safe. And then I forgot about keeping a diary for a while. And just <laughs> the year got away from me, and by the time I noticed, it got back to it. And then everything's changed <laughs> uh, since Mary came on board. At first, I delighted in kidnapping her. Everything seemed fresh and new, <laughs> and I ransomed her back to her parents. But uh, after I nursed her back to health, I'm not so sure about my plan. I don't think her parents want her back, to be honest. <laughs> July. The cursed chest looks dreadful now. What with being cursed. And that dwarf 
has become menacing. Infernal powers are trying to dissuade me from my decision, but I'm determined to retrieve the deposit. Mary will be so happy when my criminal career ends. Man, real, real turn there on the Mary situation. <laughs> the old curse brought me back to life. But what is life worth without Mary? I have to bring her back. This young wench... Oh, this is a new one. <laughs> this young wench I captured will help me perform my finest art. Art? Act. act. My finest act? I set sail before the girl's mother could interfere with my plans. I hope... Unless she's reading this right now! <laughs> Get out of my room! <laughs> oh, I've got so many thoughts to commit into my memory book. <laughs> it seems that centuries have passed since my demise, and I don't understand or recognize this strange new world. Only the vast seas are still my home. Man, I hope nothing happened to Skull Island while I was gone. <laughs> Looking back, I kind of probably shouldn't have sh signed that infernal pact. I miss you, Mary! <laughs> But soon we'll be together again as long as I can transform this modern woman who's not you into you. Are you, th you thinking that's the deal? Uh, probably. Well, otherwise, why did he kidnap her? Uh, I don't know. I just figured, I'm, I'm like... I Mary, but any port in a storm. No, I was thinking, you know, that, like, skeletal hands are not that great for everything. So mm. you might need a pair of flesh hands around. To but then she got stuff. tied to a mast, so she's not really running errands. I guess that's true. One of the ships is missing. Okay. Oh, we... We saw a ship. It was uh, back in the basement of our art exhibit. So let's just go <laughs> all the way. Let's back. go all the way home. <laughs> Swim back. Start swimming. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Cool. Uh, gosh. Ah, oh, he kept his unwanted poster. <laughs> oh. oh no! It doesn't oh, let us give a close up of that. Uh, just there's shipping. a parrot skull right there. Okay. The telescope is hidden somewhere. Playing cards, that's fun. I mean, the stuff that's in here might have counted as hidden. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Apparently the tap is in here that we're looking for, so... Huh. Keep I don't an see eye it. open for something kind of mm. daggery shaped. Or maybe it's in the drawer. The drawer can open. Uh, oh, so we got to find the knob off. for the door. Okay, is there a... Um... No, there's nothing there. Cross, cigar, gem... Belt, mirror. Oh, there's the calipers, I think, right there by the die. The anchor is drawn. Uh, oh, we can move that rag out of the way on the left. Nope. Oh, that's just for closing the door. Yeah. Oh, there is some stuff on the other side of that door, though. There's, like, the telescope we need before we close oh, it. Oh, okay. There's a three corner hat. Is this the mirror? No, that's I not the mirror. I would believe that was a mirror, but okay. Apparently not. Okay, the cross was in here. It's here. Yeah. A cigar? A scar's here. Yep. Gem? It's uh, uh, glowing green, like Mountain Dew colored. <laughs> a belt. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Is it over here? Do you mean hat? <laughs> <laughs> By belt, you mean hat. Alright, mirror playing cards, tap. What do you suppose is that um, pipe shape thing sticking out there by the red letter? Nothing? Nothing. Hmm. Uh, there's the knob. Oh, there's though. the mirror, though. Yeah. Here's the tab. Okay. And the mirror. And the, and playing, the playing cards. cards. All right. Um, that's... And we just need the belt. Okay. Is this a belt? No, I think it's some kind of hoop. Mm. Doesn't it kind of look like there's a whip? Hanging right down the middle? Yeah, it does. Not a belt, though. Not a belt. I'm just gonna start clicking on things. Are you a belt? How about a super fancy belt, like you won a wrestling competition? Like a tiara. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, There's a lock. Yeah. Is this a belt? It didn't, sure doesn't look like It doesn't like look one. like a belt, does it? No. I'm just getting desperate. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we it's hit not the a drawing hint. of a belt. Hint. What? What? Uh, that billfold-looking thing. Kind of barely see a, a. Oh, I thought those were like two separate objects. Was totally visually reading that wrong. Yeah, me too. All right. We got, so we got tap. the tap, which means we can go get water, and then we can drown the parrot. <laughs> Let's see what this is first. Okay. Hey, it's the dwarf. He was in the diary. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, apparently we can talk to him. What's up, dwarf? Prepare for another crazy accent and another abrasive voice. Yeah, let's do it. Nice animation. Ah, if you're here, then my captain lives again. He does. I hope Remington told you about the doubloons. You need all 12 to open the chest and retrieve its contents. Uh, we're working on it. I'll be watching you. Good luck. <laughs> so, this is where all the doubloons go in yep. this chest. Here's the thing. Let's Every just tickle his feet until he opens it. You can't. No. <laughs> no, it just... Torture never works. No. So here's the thing. Every uh -huh. time you put a key in here, it gives you a cutscene of backstory. Cool. Let's just not. <laughs> yeah, I think because we're coming up on time. So maybe let's line up. What are we doing next? We're going to forget by the next time we record anyway, but... We're going to tap that barrel. Uh-huh. Get some water. You want to go do that before we quit? All right. Before we forget... Yeah, so we don't forget where the tap goes. We want to start fresh and confused next time. Hey, wait. His his bottle thing changed. Oh, yeah? He's got that something to you put the water again? in. again? Why don't you leave old Smithy alone? Oh, you fancy his shiny fluid? Well, I accept bribes. I'm quite thirsty. That's weird. You're dead. Get me some grog, and I'll give you this rare bottle of chemicals. Sure. Maybe we'll share the grog. It depends on how quickly we reach our own level of preferred inebriation. <laughs> there may only be enough for us. Okay, here we tap go with the, the tap. Barrel. Bada bing. Oh, we keep that keep the plug. plug. Nice. Now mm -hmm. there's water. Now we got a pail of water. Wait, pail in our of pocket? water in one hand, cannonball, cannonball in the other. The other. <laughs> Put them both together. <laughs> All right, so we'll leave it there? Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. So, uh, thanks for sticking around and watching us best these dumb pirates at their own undead pirate game. And uh, if you like what we're doing, it doesn't matter. We're, we do, <laughs> we're going to do this anyway. Watch it, don't watch it. I don't know, you got lives. I mean, we appreciate you, and we're glad you came along for that entire ride. Yes. See Jumps. you next time. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Bye.